Hi, my name is Laura Trevino and welcome to my channel, Creative Art by LT. Today, I'm going to take these little makeup bags. I have two of them that I purchased at Hobby Lobby um, on clearance sometime last year. And I'm gonna take one of them and I'm gonna be using um, the one of the letters from Timu's Chanel embroidery letters that have the iron-on backing. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a little stitch, a top stitch with my uh, Viking Jade uh, 35 sewing machine, embroidery machine. And then on the other one, I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to embroider initials on the side. So stick around, hope you enjoy. Okay, so I have decided that um, right-handed people like the zipper on this side. That's what I'm kind of thinking that that's what's happening. So I put the K here. I measured the front and it measured it seven and a half. So I roughly figured out three and, and 3.75, 3.75 is right about that, right there. That looks centered to me. So I'm gonna use my little iron that I bought at Hobby Lobby. It gets pretty hot and I'm gonna use this to put a little firm pressure on it. I didn't want to put it on the, the heat press, but I don't know like what temperature it has to be at. I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna press it. And I'm gonna put as much pressure as, as I think. I'm not gonna squish it and move it around because I want it to stick. Hopefully it's hot enough. If not, I'll, I'll check it in just a second. It seems pretty hot to me. I'll move it around, I'll lift it and press and lift and press, and hopefully that's gonna work. And then I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine and try to tape it down in some way and um, put a little stitch around it so I make sure that it stays. I think that'll work. It is hot though, I can feel, oh yeah, it's really hot. Just don't know how much pressure I've actually got on it to see if that's gonna work. Yeah, it's stuck. And it's pretty, I like this. I don't guess I should save this tape. Okay, I might mess it up with the embroidery machine if I don't get it on the right. Let's see, is it straight? It looks pretty straight. Let's, what do you think? Pretty straight, right? Okay, all right, so let's see. I'm gonna take it over to the embroidery machine. Okay, so I'm not gonna use the embroidery hoop on this because I don't need it. I'm just going to stitch this and then I'll use the embroidery hoop for the next thing. Um, I've decided on this kind of a navy blue purple looking color. So I'm gonna set that up and then I'm gonna go ahead and stitch around the K just to make sure it stays. I really, honestly, after pressing it and I've checked it out, I don't need it, think it needs it, but uh, I'll do it anyway. Test my skills a little bit. All right. So, here it is. Oh my goodness, no wonder I'm always looking in the wrong direction, guys. Don't know where the camera is, okay? And then, this is the back. So I just stitched around there. It's not very perfect, but you know what? 
it looks pretty good to me. And my daughter would, would never think of anything other than that it was perfect. All right, so then I'm gonna use this one for the next one. So this bag, I'm going to um, embroider some initials or an initial. I don't know. Maybe I wanted to do two, but let me look at it. So let me try to get it. I need to get the center of this side right here, which is about this spot right here. I've got a little eye on it. Um, let me mark that. Oh, everything. So we want to make sure we get it there. Where's my measuring tape? I have it. There it is. Okay. So I've got a little piece of tape, and I've already marked. I know where the center is here. I have a little mark there. But even then, you know what? It's not going to be perfect. Because I don't think I know how to get it perfect. But I shall try. on that side. Okay, so I've got my embroidery machine, got my everything back together. I'm going to go ahead and look for the one I want, the puff foam one. Um, my file I use is a, v, I, a VP3, and I'm going to do another K, but I'm going to do the foam one. See the hoop size is going to be 120 by 120. I'm going to attach the hoop. That's going to be the hardest part, getting that little tape off. Okay. Let me see. What colors? I don't even know what colors I'm going to use yet. But, okay, I've got the right hoop on it. Um, let's see. Make sure it's going to be... Not very big at all. Um, no, I can't make it bigger. Okay, well, let's see. So what colors do I want to do? Well, the inside is like a purple. I'm going to keep the navy blue for the first layer, and then we'll do a different color for the um, 
for the other one. Okay, so let's see how this part comes out first. All right, ready? And go. Okay, I'm gonna trim thread. Oh, okay, it's already good. outside the satin stitch first and then I'm going to add the puff to go on the top. Let's see, I have any puff scraps. Yeah, I can use this one. take much. It's a small K. It's not as big as the other one. Even. Um, I guess I could have taken it into a file. Maybe I made it bigger. The only thing also I'm not sure about is that the, the bobbin thread was black. I uh, probably should have changed it to white. But uh, it's on the inside. Maybe it won't matter. Okay, so the outside has, has done. And so I'm going to switch it out and I'm going to put the puff in. So I'm going to put the puff under here. I have used this puff once before with, um, with a fishing one that I did. It's, I don't know if you can see it. No, but it's up there. So, all right, let's see. Let's get this one. Ducky. Yeah, I do struggle, so let me let me make sure I can get this threaded. It takes time. So just give me a few seconds, especially with everything in my way. I feel like it's all this material is in the way. Okay, here we go. Okay, and go. My thread. All right. Down. Okay, and go. I went to Hobby Lobby and I looked for the foam, cuff foam, um, in other colors and I couldn't find it. So I have black and white. So I chose white. I hope it doesn't show through. Um, so those are things I do need to purchase um, so that I can make sure that it's coming out as good as it can. You know, going through this effort, you want to put out a nice product. So I'm going to see what I can do. The font I'm using, I purchased um, off of Etsy and it is a 3D Varsity uh, Slim font. I would have liked it to be a little bit thicker. I didn't realize it was going to be so slim, but it, it's it's nice. It's It looks good. It's two colors. So um, we'll see. Hopefully it works this time. All right, so it's finished. All right, let's see. I like this because it's just quick tear away. It looks pretty good from the back. It is black, but it is what it is, right? I went with it, so stop complaining. I need to run, I think, um, I think you run a little bit of heat on it so that it shrinks it up. which I can do in just a few minutes. All right.
Okay. So it's a little small. I need to clean it up a little bit because that white is the foam that's coming through. I'm not sure if you can see it, but um, where's my little, put this back in here just so we can see how it looks structurally. All right, and then I'll add a little bit of the heat gun on it and we'll take some of that white right here. It'll, it'll go down, but that's pretty. Look at the, you can see the 3D here. know let me know what you think um a couple things i would do different i think that the letter the font needs to be larger maybe i should have gone with her initials like all of them instead of just the k um i do i do like this one though i think that's that's cool this one's just oh that really looks bad when you put them together not so bad but then when you put them together oops that's horrible okay so i think it could be better maybe i should add something to go with it I don't know. We'll see. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you soon.